In Lesson 5, we are going to ask the question, how can I interpret the Bible? We've already read 2 Peter 1, verse 20, which says, But know this first of all, that no prophecy of Scripture is a matter of one's own interpretation. So if I can't interject my own interpretation, how can God's Word be rightly divided and interpreted? The answer is that God has designed His Word to interpret itself. This is accomplished in a few different ways, and in future lessons we will look at each one individually. In this lesson, we're going to look at the fact that Scripture often interprets itself right in the verse where it is written. In other words, many verses are self-explanatory. Here are a couple examples. John 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That pretty much says what it means right there. Look here in Matthew 11, verse 28, Jesus talking, and he says, Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Self-explanatory. A scholar of God's word named Phineas Dake published a wonderful study Bible, which is jam-packed with his very interesting notes. One thing that he says, which we would like to keep in mind during this course, is the following, quote, The rule observed is, take the Bible literally wherein it is at all possible. If symbolic, figurative, or typical language is used, then look for the literal truth it intends to convey, unquote. When we keep this in mind, we will avoid over-spiritualizing or complicating God's Word. So often we can simply take what is written literally right where it is written. Here's another example of a self-explanatory verse. Jesus Christ talked in, in John 17, verse 17. Sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is truth. Many philosophy college courses may spend hours and hours Going around the question, what is truth? Here the Bible tells us plainly, God's Word is the truth with a capital T. We don't need any fancy interpretation to figure this out. The verse interprets itself right where it is written, and we can take it literally. Here's another example, Genesis 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That's pretty clear. We can literally believe that in the beginning, God is the one who created everything. This verse interprets itself right where it is written. One more example. Psalm 119, verse 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. This isn't complicated, but very easy to understand. We know that light on our path keeps us from stumbling, keeps us from falling into a ditch, keeps us from getting off track, this verse is easy to understand, right as it is written, telling us what God's Word will do for us in our lives. Some scholars have estimated that between 80 to 90 percent of God's Word interprets itself right where it is written. So if we never learned any other way to read the Bible, knowing this would open up the majority of God's Word to our understanding. Of course, as workmen of God's Word, we don't want to limit ourselves to 80 or 90 percent understanding, but it is reassuring to know that this very day we can pick up the Bible and read it and understand much of it. There are sections that will be more challenging for us to understand, and that's where utilizing the tools that we'll look at in this course will be helpful. But for right now, simply take time to enjoy reading the Bible. You could start with Psalm 119. There are 176 verses in that psalm, and you'll find as you read that each one is pretty much self-explanatory. So just take time and enjoy reading. In the next lesson, Lesson 6, we are going to look at how a word or words in the Bible should be interpreted according to biblical usage.